One and a half year old Kona was picked up as a stray, but making the transition from the street to the shelter hasn't been easy. Can I say hi? There, look at that. I'm getting to know you already. Though her shy and wary disposition prevented her from showing well at the adoption event, Brandon still senses her potential. I'll tell you what, let's say you and I go for a little drive. I'll make you a promise. Your tail will be wagging in no time at all. Come on. To ensure that Kona is healthy and ready for training, Brandon immediately schedules a physical exam. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Brandon. This must be Kona. This is Kona. She has an appointment with Dr. Garcia. And if you guys want to go make your way to room two, Dr. Garcia will be right with you. Thank you. Hey, Brandon. How hey, are you? Hey, Dr. Garcia. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, so what we have here is this Kona, right? This is Kona. Uh, so. They say she's about a year and a half old spaniel mix. I just pulled her from the shelter. I really know nothing about her. Mm -hmm. Just wanted okay. to get her in here, give her a once over, see what you think, any recommendations. All right, we'll give her a physical exam and check her over and see how everything is, and hopefully we give her a clean bill of health. Dr. Garcia examines Kona's teeth. She's got a good bite. Eyes. Have a little quick peek there and make sure her pupils are okay the way they dilate. And ears. Make sure she doesn't have an ear infection or any other abnormalities in there. Followed by her heart and internal organs. Her heart and lungs sound great. Just have a feel of her belly here and her body. All right, and then we're just gonna check her temperature, okay? Good girl, Kona, you're a trooper. Uh, looks good, 100.8. Everything looks great. She has a clean bill of health, but uh, spaniels do suffer from some hereditary joint problems, and so I'm gonna recommend the supplement. Meanwhile, down in Venice Beach, Joe and Sarah are celebrating a homecoming of their own. Joe and I met in high school our senior year. We actually went to a retreat, and that gave me an ample opportunity to get some alone time with her to uh, let her see exactly who I was. <laughs> After attending different colleges, these former sweethearts reunited and are now ready to start a life together. Sarah has been traveling for the past couple of years doing research around the world. She's finally come back and settled down, which has made me very happy. So it's kind of a perfect timing for us to get a dog. Joe and I are just both huge animal people, so I just see every situation being better with an animal present. <laughs> They're hoping to find a dog small enough for apartment living, but energetic enough to keep up with their beach-centric lifestyle. Joe and I are both really active people. Joe's really into surfing and basketball. We love running around Venice Beach, doing yoga together sometimes. It's always a great area to check out some of the new restaurants and cafes, so we're always seeing what's new on the culinary landscape. So if we could take the dog to restaurants and go out to dinner and lunch, that would be the dream come true. Come on. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hop, hop. 